Hello everybody, what we're going to look at today is how we actually heat mould your boots that you for skating. So these are typically off the shelf boots, generally custom boots, you shouldn't need to be heat moulding them unless there's some small niggly little things to fix. So we're looking at off the shelf carbon boot or an off the shelf uh, polycarbonate poly or composite boot um, are all heat mouldable. Check with the brand for information about whether they are or are not heat moldable okay but most of them should be heat moldable right first things you've got to make a decision on is um, when you go to heat mold there's a couple of things we can't obviously can't leave the wheels on so got to take the wheels off so make sure you take your wheels off put your axles back in so you don't lose them just nip them up finger tight, okay? I'm not using any sort of real sort of pressure. Okay, so take your wheels off or else you will melt them. Uh, after that, um, I've got the oven on. You can use a standard normal oven. It can be fan force, which is better, but you're just gonna use a normal oven uh, a tray, maybe a piece of baking paper to sit the boot in. Now, second thing you need to do, you need to work out whether you are going to heat mold them with the frames on, which is perfectly safe. You can do that. Or whether you're gonna heat mold them with the frames off. If you do them with the frames off, a few things to consider. When you're actually putting them on your feet, you do not want to do a lot of standing in them because you don't want to spread the mounting positions further apart due to the heat molding okay it's going to make anywhere the carbon is softer now the base has got more layers and it shouldn't go really soft but all up around here is going to go soft okay now i do prefer to take the frames off to heat mold them because what i end up doing is i have a little jig which is basically a piece of ply and two mounting holes that are the same distance apart as the mounting holes on the boot and i attach that to the base of the boot so the boot sits up nice and flat and that way when i'm putting them on this is attached to the boot and it's going to work out easier um, you don't have to do that as i said these are just a couple of pieces of off-cut ply they had lying around you can do anything in the way of timber ply is usually good because it'll take the heat now the temperature of the oven we have got it set to 100 degrees centigrade. No higher, you can go a little lower, you can go down to 80, but it's gonna take a little longer for it to work. So around the 100 degrees centigrade is good. Now, I'm gonna whip this off, put the timber base on, and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like then. Main reason for heat molding boots, generally the kids or the skaters ankles uh, basically have gaps in here when they've got them on and up tight because of the manufacturer's last being of a specific size okay that's why we can heat it up and then we can squash it in okay so it firms up now you can that's the idea of basically doing it and you're pulling the laces and should pull it in against their ankles okay um, you can use other things to try and push it together I've seen people make up like little jigs and have a vice to push that in against their ankles while it slowly cools down as long as it doesn't push on the person's ankle bone and stuff like that um, you can um, basically use that sort of thing I'm going to try something a bit different I'm going to use like a cord or it's actually a lace that's going to come around through here it's going to come up underneath the ankle across the front of the boot and I'm going to wind it up tight so that it pulls this in around my ankle as it's going together. Okay, so that's a little hint. Okay, I have the frame off, okay, and I've already put the first mounting bolt. Now I'm using the same mounting bolts that hold the frame on here. Now I'm going to put the second one in. Um, I have to make a little bit of a recess in my piece of ply so that the bolt would go through far enough. Now, as these do slide around a little bit, make sure you line it up if you're going to be using a piece of ply like this, which it just stops it from moving around. 
when you go to put it on your foot and if you do stand up in them um, it'll be fine okay so I'm just putting that in and it doesn't have to be super tight just nip it up same with the front okay just like that so that's it that's how I have my boot set up ready for when I'm going to heat mold them so the piece of timber supports the mounting points so that they don't change their position and basically uh, this is ready to go now you can do it without this is here as I said but when you put the boots on avoid standing up in case it either flexes the base of the boot a little bit while it's soft so you're better off put your boot on you can do that but just sit, stay seated and I'll show you what that looks like when we get to that molding stage okay but avoid standing up without having any support whether it be the frame still on or whether it be as I said like a little bit of ply couple of things to remember buckles are safe to go into the oven they're fine as long as you don't go over temperature, make sure you stay on that 100 degrees C, okay? We do not want to do this. These things will warp and melt probably once you get up over 130 degrees or something like that. So make sure uh, you don't um, set the wrong temperature. Second thing is, you can, um, if your skate has the ability to remove that and you want it for this, you're more than welcome to. But it's not gonna hurt it, leave it on if you don't need to. Other thing to consider, see these little metal eyelets, they're gonna get very hot. Make sure you've got socks on, make sure the socks come up above the top of the boot so that you're not gonna burn yourself or the poor child that you're sticking into these boots that are around 100 degrees. Um, it will be warm on the kid's foot, okay, but it will start to cool down fairly quickly. It's gonna take about 15 minutes or so. So, but generally you shouldn't burn their foot uh, as a part of this if you're concerned get somebody to help you with this okay so they're the main important things anything metallic is going to come out very hot keep that in mind laces are fine um, the important thing is I'm, I can't remember if I mentioned it before loosen the laces right off make sure your laces are completely loose all the way down that way it'll be easy to get their foot in okay okay so everybody can see that i've got the temperature set to 100 degrees centigrade in the oven and the timer is going to go to 10 minutes look at my filthy oven there on the back thing there i have to get in and clean that so um what you can do is sit it on a tray um probably the easiest way to sit it on a tray is put the tray in upside down so there's no recess and then you can just sit the boot on the tray like so inside the oven okay now I've already got a tray down there so what I'm going to do I don't cover up my camera okay go down to the oven make sure you use protection oven mitts Left something in there. I'm going to turn the tray over. And it's just sitting in there, like so. It's at 100 degrees. Um, I've moved the tray level all the way down. Grab the boot, place it on the tray. Make sure it doesn't touch anything at the top. Okay, so it's clear at the top, not touching anything and then I'm gonna shut the oven. Okay, now this is gonna take 10 minutes and we'll get it out once it's really hot and I'll show you what we do there. Now prepping for when we bring it out, uh, I've got a chair, I've got a towel on the ground so we don't mark the floor at all, it's doubled over uh, and we're gonna be sitting in that. Now, the important thing when it comes to this is when you do this, it's gonna take 10 to 15 minutes to cool down, 
okay? So we're going to allow it to cool down. Rightio, and you're doing one boot at a time. Okay guys, I've got three minutes to go. It hasn't risen yet, which is great. <laughs> it hasn't fallen. That's a cake joke, guys. Um, if I grab it, move it around, um, what I'm hoping to see, this is still a bit firm at this stage, it's, but it is softening up. You know, normally you can't squish it like that. Okay, so maybe another four or five minutes and we're ready to go. Okay, what I might do, push on that, out, and pull that out, which is excellent, and put that round. Okay, that is, the leather is quite hot, so keep that in mind, okay? So just watch yourself. Okay, final position for when you're molding it. Obviously, get your boot, foot back in the boot, do the laces up firmly from front to back. Don't leave them loose, do them up firmly. Do the lace cover up reasonably tight. It's only there to cover your laces typically. Now the important thing here is to make sure you've got your foot in the skating position, which means your shin, can you just point to your shin there? With your, you come around this side, has to be leaning forward. Okay, so if we look at the knee, it's over the center of the foot. Okay, it's not sitting straight back. The knee is over the center of the foot, leaning forward like you do when you're in the skating position. Now this is a position you gotta hold while the boot cools, okay? You can make it cool quicker, stick a fan down here and to blow the thing and it'll help to set that position on the boot properly, okay? Once it's cooled, the boot will be hold that shape until you need to heat mold it again if you do maybe another six to eight months okay sneaky little trick i did as i said i was going to use the shoe base go underneath the boot on both sides come up put the two laces together and then i'm using an allen key and i simply turn it around 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 and until it pulls up tight Okay, so and that's pulling in the boot in against my ankle quite firmly. So you can see a little gap everywhere, which is what we really want. Okay, now that my foot's in the boot, I'm in the skate position. I'm cheating. I got a fan here to help pull it down faster. Okay, there is a fair bit of heat on the sole of my foot where the mounting positions are. So just be aware of that. Make sure the kids wear maybe a slightly thicker than normal thin sock. 